Good morning. Welcome to a day in my life getting out of a funk. Honestly, I have been on a little bit of a journey since we've moved to our new place and obviously I knew that that was going to happen but as always I try to be as unrealistic as possible and always expect everything to happen overnight. So we're still very much in the process of like settling in the place and sorting out lots of things which is taking longer than I would have liked um, and that kind of like sent me into a little bit of a spiral because I am definitely a routine kind of person. I like routines and I like structure in my day because otherwise I just end up procrastinating. So today I am taking back control and we are getting out of this funk of this not knowing what I'm going to do every other day and sitting here and like moping around or scrolling on TikTok, which I have been doing a lot of. I'm embarrassed to admit. So I woke up this morning and honestly just literally didn't do much for a few hours. I'm just gonna be honest. And then I was like, okay, this day will not go by me without me having actually get my life sorted because that's just like unacceptable. So it's a beautiful day, as you can see from the light. Um, it's minus four in London. <laughs> quite chilly. I have just done my skincare and weirdly I did my teeth whitening but I haven't had breakfast or coffee so I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna come back and have breakfast and coffee and I will take you with me. So let's go and get changed. Ignore everything that you see on the back of me because I need to tidy up and let's go to the gym. Okay ready for the gym. We are going with like some really chilled black set actually if you've got like any gym recommendations for like outfits let me know because i need a few new ones because during the move i think i lost a few which is honestly heartbreaking and very very annoying um but yes i put a jumper on because it's obviously quite cold let's go <laughs> And that moving my body is one of the best ways to feel better almost immediately. I couldn't film a lot of my workout but I did 20 minutes on the treadmill and then 10 minute pilates. Once I got home I made my breakfast. These days we're trying a sugar-free diet which has honestly been quite challenging so my go-to breakfast is some homemade granola, some homemade chia berry jam and some sugar-free yogurt. I also always try to get my collagen intake for the day and I usually mix mine with my coffee in the morning and I have decaf coffee as well. It makes it sound like we're super healthy but we're just trying to do our best to get back into good and healthy habits. My morning routine would not be complete without the five minute journal. This has been the most transformative tool that I have ever invested in and honestly is a pretty small investment. It helps me to start the day with gratitude and helps me to end the day thinking about all of the amazing things that have happened to me. Which in times like this when I really struggle to see the positives and find the joy in the small things is honestly priceless. We just got the food shop delivered. Let's go put it away. I am literally going to have to drag this because it's like too heavy. So we, um, yeah, I just got the groceries. I'm not gonna lie. I was just talking to some friends about some stuff that has been going on on like TikTok. I am super stressed at the moment because I am trying to like navigate the online space. And honestly, YouTube has always been like the most supportive platform and probably the hardest to build a community in, but I feel like very safe sharing my life and my feelings on YouTube, whereas I don't feel that way about other platforms. So I was talking to some friends of mine about something that I shared in a TikTok. And honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna take my brand. 
Um, I don't know what I am going to be doing, which is probably why I'm feeling stuck and why I'm in this funk because I'm in this kind of like big pivotal moment, it feels like in my career where I have the opportunity to kind of like build something from the ground up and it feels like super exciting, but then at the same time, it's absolutely terrifying because I'm trying to do something that is new. And as any entrepreneur will be able to tell you, it's just like really hard when you're trying to build your own business because the possibilities are endless and so are the potential failures and uh, it's terrifying. I don't think I am getting the excitement that some people talked about. I think at the moment for me, it's kind of like, why am I doing this to myself? Should I be going back to corporate? No, I know that corporate is not for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just like trying to navigate this and um, yeah, being on the internet is is hard, it's, it's tough, but I think it's probably something that everyone can relate to because we've been forced to kind of like exist outside of just like our little bubble. And that can be like a really cool thing and it can also be a very hard thing. Anyway, I did promise a food haul, so let me just get the stuff that I bought and I'll show you what we have got. This is like a top up shop, it's not like a, the big, the big shop, but like, let's, let's just. So this is like the food shop, so we've got like three different types of milks. The Oatly is the one that I know. We don't usually shop at Asda, so I just like got two different ones, one Oat Barista and then an Almond Unsweetened. And like we're doing sugar-free, so everything had to be sugar-free, so I had to check like all of the ingredients. Um, then we got taco shells because I'm obsessed with tacos and some like um, thins for sandwiches, some eggs, which is very difficult to find these times, and then some pasta, some spaghetti. And we got two aubergines, which I think I'm gonna use for either pasta or probably to do baba ganoush because I really love that. Um, passata, which is a must in this household and some like cherry tomatoes, um, some potatoes, some courgettes, some bananas. And these bananas are very, very um, not ready to be eaten. So there you go, I'll have to wait a bit. Um, celery and carrots, which are our favorite snack some cucumber, some green beans that I cannot cook for the life of me, but that some makes really nicely with butter and garlic. Um, salad, a thing of stir fry, just for when we're tired and we just need something quick. Some salad, which I'm probably gonna have right now, to be honest. Um, Greek yogurt for Sam, and then some gravy granules, because these ones are actually sugar-free. So we have, usually we have like a different brand, but this was sugar-free, so I was like, hey, essentials and sugar-free, fantastic. Okay, so that was like our shop. I'm just gonna like put it away in the fridge and then I'm gonna make myself a salad and head out because I need to pick up a few things that we're like substitute in this shop and also like my yogurt and stuff like that. And also I need to just walk outside because I've been too much in my head. I've been like too locked inside. It's so easy to do because we have a balcony and like, it feels like I'm outside because we have like really big windows, but it's not the same as being outside. So I need to get my legs to take me out, to not say another word. I have just come back home and I feel a little bit better. I had a lovely interaction with the lady at the checkout. Um, she was like, you found like a really big pepper and it was like a, like a single red pepper and the price is the same for like a big one or a small one. And we just like had a little chat and she was so sweet and it made my day. So this is proof that sometimes you just have to get out to get out of a funk. I think I'm going to tidy up the place and I will have 
an early night i'm probably gonna make some nice pasta and go to bed early tonight sam is playing DD, so i get to just like chill on my own which is always nice i really love my time alone i've always thought of myself like as an extrovert but i'm learning through the years that i might not be a full extrovert so thank you for joining me in this <laughs> very random day i don't know what it's gonna look like but i feel like this is like a transition period for me so the content is also transitioning together with my life and i will figure things out but bear with me and if you made it this far thank you so much i love you all i'm so grateful to have you here and if you've got any tips on how to get out of a funk or anything that helps you let me know in the comments bye friends mm -hmm.